Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be the UBL playoffs round one and we are up against Bepsis here and uh, I'm incredibly nervous so I actually just uh, switched computers. I wanted to go 100% to him to a different computer and uh, I'm not even 100% sure uh, if all my recording settings are correct. Uh, I'm not even sure how well aligned this HP bar is. I did my best uh, just off eye but I guess we're just gonna have to see and um yeah, this is just going to be a really interesting test, I guess, of uh, my first recording just off of this in general. But um, I brought a lot of a similar team from what I had last time. I don't know how it's going to interact at all. But, uh, okay, so we do see the Celebi does bring the Gallade this time. Uh, bring this Brings the Scizor as well. I did very much expect that. Uh, does bring the Muck, the Dragology, and the the Greninja, right? So, right off the bat, uh, still no Alamomola. We, we battled twice and no Alamomola both times. Uh, no Diancy. Leaves the Moltres behind. Leaves the Piloswine behind. Wow, okay, that is pretty mind-blowing. Uh, the Piloswine is honestly one of the only mons that really stops my Raikou from being able to do kind of whatever the heck it wants here. And no Glyscore is also really huge. So Glyscore was his main defogger. I think he might not... Oh, Scizor is, a, is an obvious defogger. But uh, that would kind of suggest no band, which would be super interesting. Um, but yeah, I don't think he has a ton that would stop my Raikou from just kind of wrecking shop. I mean, a lot of my team is very much the same, except for the Raikou over the Necrozma. Um, if he's... I'm going to see how well he uh, remembers my team or expects me to bring the same kind of stuff. Um, I do pack Hidden Power Bug on my Registeel in order to not be uh, hard-walled by another... By another... Uh, Celebi matchup. I was trying to run, not run out of time, but I think uh, Serena is honestly going to be probably my best lead here. I don't really know what I would want to lead off with here. So, again... Um, Serena, okay, so uh, this is another instance where I didn't even um, bring enough speed to outspeed any type of Greninja. I only out, I'm only outspeeding a Greninja that is also speed creeping uh, base 115, like my Raikou, for instance. Um, now, I did tell him specifically after the match last time that, that, that that's what I was doing. So he might be speed creeping in Adamant Serena. If he does do that, then he's going to outspeed me, but... He might expect me to also be speed creeping. Uh, I think he let off with this because I do love my Azumarill leads here. But for this, I don't see any real downside in just clicking U-turn here. I really am not seeing a downside to that. Um, I do want to think it out for a second, though. Uh, I guess this would just allow me... He, he could go for Toxic Spice turn one. That would make a decent amount of sense to me but it does allow me into my registeel and registeel is not going to be able to registeel is not going to be able to sub uh in the same way that i was able to uh last matchup but i think it's going to matter a whole lot less so let me i guess we just see whatever the heck this trigology is trying to do it could be a scarf trigology for all i know i don't know uh scarf trigology does make sense a lot against a lot of my slower pokemon in general uh, yeah, U-turn shouldn't be doing much of anything, but none of my moves are doing much of anything. So, uh, honestly, it, lo it looks like U-turn is doing about as much as Power Whip would. So, uh, just getting U-turn off to... Uh, that looks about max HP-ish. Maybe just max HP, max special attack. That looks about right for that type of damage. Uh, it looks like U-turn should be doing 12 to 15%, although it could be one of these rolls that's so low. Yeah, okay, so if he's no bulk, if he's no bulk technology, then it should be doing 15 to 19. And I'm doing right in that 15 range, so it could be, you know, either max HP or no bulk, uh, or somewhere in between. It could be anywhere in between. So, I'm thinking just a super obvious uh, Registeel play would be the way to go here. Uh, I don't want to get caught up in another situation with the Celebi, but does good just go for the Dragon Falls. Uh, I wonder what he was expecting me to go, to want to go into, but, uh... Like I said, he could absolutely have the have the toxic spikes on this, and that would be super unfortunate. But getting rocks up here uh, is definitely something that I would appreciate right now. Uh, I'm not too too sure. It's a really interesting matchup. I'm all right. 
there it is. I, I didn't say it in team preview, but I said it here. But no, it is genuinely an interesting matchup. I don't... He doesn't have that great answers to Reggie still. If he wants to bring in the Selby aggressively right now, then Selby can get up rocks, but I think he would want to Earth Power me more. That's just going off of instinct and knowing Vepsis a little bit, but he does switch out, so he, so maybe he's trying to bluff uh, Specs, but I wouldn't be surprised at all if this thing is, is Specs. Does go straight into Scizor, and this Scizor can absolutely click Superpower against me. If it does, I mean, it, just, it could just want to click Defog as well. But this thing would also probably want to roost. Uh, I'm super curious as to what kind of a scissor this would be. I'm super curious as to what kind of a scissor this would want to be. And part of me just really wants to go into Azumarill here. Azumarill has no real true downsides here. Except Azumarill... Because Azumarill, Azumarill was here primarily to be the shutdown check to a pile of swine. But we don't see a pilot swine here, so Azumarill is so much more free to kind of just roam around and do whatever the heck it wants here. I would be super duper curious as to whether or not he would click. You know what? I'm, I'm going to go for it. I think he's either going to click Defog or Superpower. I think. And Azumarill feels like a solid catch-all for this type of situation anyway. Um, I was kind of talking about wanting to bring Knockoff. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, There goes my band, but, that's, but honestly, I don't mind that a whole heck of a lot. I'm still adamant huge power here, and uh, I try to hit 191 HP just because um, that's that's the most HP that I can have while still taking, I think, 11 HP uh, on entry from rocks, so that's the most HP that I can have while minimizing my kind of uh, exposure to rocks because uh, Pokemon always rounds down their damages, so uh, I thought that was kind of cute, but who knows, it might not even like matter a whole heck of a lot. Let's go for the bullet punch, and okay, that is very strong. Uh, okay. That might be... I mean, my instinct is to say no bulk, but I have no idea whether or not that's true. Uh, oh, I still have to take off the band. Um, I guess that's some HP. That's probably... That's probably a, in a decent amount of HP. But I don't think I should have... Okay, that's probably... That, that, look, that looks like max HP, possibly. I kind of want to mess with him a little bit, expecting him to, to want to bullet punch again and go into my Serena and U-turn out, but he would potentially just want to U-turn himself, so maybe that would be giving him too much momentum in that situation, um, but it is something that I do want to do. Maybe I could aggressively go into Raikou, but that is a very strong bullet punch. That's almost banded damage, maybe that's just like steel plate or whatever the steel plate is i don't know i could just try to get off some damage with aqua jet although that would leave me incredibly soft to muck i do have the registeel for the muck so i guess it's not as big of a deal but uh it would make muck a genuine problem especially if it starts to curse up on me so yeah i probably shouldn't be i really do want to go into serena here but i don't know what i want to do to be completely honest maybe i could just go aggressively go into raikou let me, let me just... I know I'm running out of time, but I do just want to see... Oof, Riku is taking a lot of damage. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Maybe Serena could get there. No, I was going to say maybe Serena can get there with Knockoff, but Knockoff is not doing enough. There's the Queenly Majesty. And I can click U-turn, but he can also click U-turn, which would be pretty awful for me. Uh, maybe even, the, like, the chip damage is worth it in this situation. I re I do really want to click knockoff. Like, genuinely want to click knockoff here. But, I guess you turning into Raikou? Or no. He does really have to click U-turn here. So, I can just U-turn into Registeel and then put him in a not-ideal position. That feels right to me. I, f I feel like that feels right to me. If anything, if I go into Registeel, I could honestly bait in the Celebi, which would be really interesting for me. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. There's my U-turn. Get a little bit of chip damage here. And I know that he's going to be able to U-turn himself. But I think I think what this is going to do is allow me to put this thing in range of a Serena knockoff later in the match. Uh, which is... I, I think even maybe getting coming back in on rocks might do that to him. I th okay. 
Okay, I feel I feel more confident about this now that I thought this through. I feel a lot more confident now that I thought this through a little bit. So from here. Goes for the roost. Okay, that's concerning. But no, last time we did this, he just went for... Huh. I'm gonna click Seismic Toss, I guess? I don't know. I guess he always wins this matchup, but if I can somehow force him... He did go for knockoff last time, yeah. Okay, so he can knock me off, which would be super unfortunate. Um... I don't quite know how to play this. Just because Scizor has such a decent time against me. But Bullet Punch Roost... Bullet Punch Roost Knockoff. I think after this Seismic Toss, he's either going to switch out or click Roost. I guess... Or we reveal superpower here. I don't know. I don't know what he wants to do here. But Registeel... Registeel can sit here for a little bit, at least. And all I really have to do is keep this thing... Is is weaken this thing enough? Or even, like, Raikou can come in. Raikou can take a ball of punch. And maybe even get to a point where it can click um, Volt Switch on this thing. Uh, Thunderbolt should be doing over half to a max HP Scizor, and Volt Switch should be doing just under half to a max HP Scizor, so... Uh... I mean, obviously, like, he's weakening my team, but, uh... Um... It's only because I'm trying to position my Raikou to where it can really start to... Uh... Do some interesting things in this matchup here. So I'm not the most concerned? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I should think here. I feel like he's also considering the Celebi play. Does just withdraw. That's interesting. Goes out into the... Into the muck. That's interesting. I feel like... I don't know what the play is here. So I did just click to go into the Spirit Tomb, but I don't feel a thousand percent confident about that play. It just feels like a solid play here. Um, I don't want to lose checks to the Glade. That's a hundred percent for certain, but uh, I do have dual Scarf on this team, so I might be able to deal with Glade, depending on what happens. Uh, if he aggressively wants to curse up on me, then that would be problematic, but I guess best case scenario would be him clicking Recycle in this situation. I don't know. I'm not even too, too sure. I'm not even too, too sure, but he is out of range where if he does want to switch out, um, he would be over 50% for rocks later on in the match. Oh, and I don't have a fast Raikou at all. I have a decently um, bulky Raikou with not a lot of speed, but uh, he also has to respect my Raikou's potential speed. He definitely has to respect my Raikou's potential speed here. And Will-O-Wisp can just kind of... Does Poison Jab into the... I don't know. Does get a Poison. Which uh, feels unfortunate. It feels not ideal. It feels not great. Now he does have two Poison types here. And an Immunity. So Toxic is not going to be doing the most for me in this matchup. But he does have to respect the Will-O-Wisp. Uh, he could want to go into Selby for that reason, which honestly makes me want to double back into Registeel. I'm going to do that. Did we see the Selby? No. That's the Dragal. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Um. Hmm. This is interesting. I guess he was fine letting get, letting get, letting this get burned, which is totally, totally fair. But, uh, I don't know. This thing might be Specs. I Specs is super likely, although maybe it just doesn't have just what's wrong. Okay, so letting his team get a little bit worn down. Um, this will keep him above the fifty percent mark, but 
I'm gonna give him the berry right now, which does kind of stink, but I have to. I was, I was gonna have to pop eventually, I guess. I was gonna have to pop eventually, I guess. Now I'd be. I'm just gonna try to keep this thing. Uh. Reasonably weak. I don't know. He has to recycle as well, so I do have a, a reasonably free turn to, to try and do that. And I can theoretically give up my Spirit Tomb in order to get a burn on this thing, even though I really would prefer not to. But um, he could super duper uh, aggressively. Yeah, there's the recycle. Okay. There's the recycle. So. I could go into Azumarill, because Azumarill would do the damage that I needed to do. Maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. It depends on whether or not he tries to curse up right now. It really depends on whether or not he tries to curse up right now. But I think, at the very least, we can assume max HP. Or, that'll at least get us close enough to where we need to be. Thunderbolt is never doing over half. Uh, it looks like play rough without the band. Okay. Azumarill should get me there with a play rough. Unless it starts aggressively cursing up. But I don't know how to play this. I don't know how to play this. I really don't know how to play this. It, because he's he's poison jabbed into this thing last time, and I don't want to give him a very free excuse to hit my Azumarill with a poison jab, but I also don't want to let him curse up for free. Um, I think it's not the time yet to kind of just hit this thing aggressively. Um... You could turn just yeah okay that's that's exactly what I wanted to avoid by trying to aggressively bring in my zoom roll. Now he has to pick another turn to recycle up, and eventually it's going to maybe allow my my uh, zoom roll in. In which case, play rough should get me there. Assuming, I mean, assuming it has you know minimal defensive investment, but I guess that's a big assumption that I have to make here. So now, I think I just kind of have to go for it here. I think I just kind of have to go for it here. But we will see. There's the knockoff. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Solid, solid, solid. I think he thought that I was going to want to bring in my... 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 Spirit Tomb in there, which is totally fair. But now I have to make a decision as to whether or not I click play rough or liquidation because, um, I mean, it's one of those situations where everything that liquidation doesn't hit well, play rough can hit well, and everything that play rough doesn't hit well, liquidation can hit well, and it's just going to be a matter of trying to decide in my head what he would want to go for in this situation. Um, bringing in Scizor would be not ideal because Scizor, uh, would leave him a little bit open to getting weakened and he kind of needs a Scizor for the rest of the match. Play rough does slightly more damage, it does like 3% more to the muck than uh, otherwise, but I guess I can deal with the scissor. I guess I can just deal with the scissor otherwise. I don't know. Okay, I, I guess I'll just click play rough here. But it's such an obvious scissor play too. Play rough hits everything except the scissor. Liquidation hits most things. I can also click knockoff too. No, but that's. Mm, I feel like, I feel like I, I need to make like a genuine like game winning play, not just playing not to lose here. I'm gonna click play rough. We're gonna see whatever happens. Does withdraw? Does he go into the scissor? Does he go into the scissor? No, it's not the scissor. That's the Celebi. Okay. So he could attempt to get rocks up here, but I cannot risk this thing, and I have to aggressively go into the Reggie still here, and I have to just. Test him whether or not he, he, I guess, yeah, I guess he could just theoretically click Earth Power pretty aggressively, although that would leave him open to the Serena. I'm more, more so curious as to whether or not he would want to, uh, aggressively click sub on this play, 
because uh, he did bring a sub Celebi last time around. Although, again, I really couldn't couldn't imagine him not wanting to take his opportunities against a few of my Pokemon here. Also, I'm pretty aggressively assuming that he would want to bring the same set of mods against me, which he could very well not be. He could very well not want to do that. So, overall, I guess we just have to see does go for the Energy Ball. Now, again, super curious as to whether or not he would want to sub up on me. But, I try to bring a little bit of attack. I'm talking with my hands a lot, and obviously nobody can see it, but, uh... If there was ever time to click Hidden Power Bug, it's now, I guess, right? Let's see. Does go for the rocks. Can we take out the Selby? Can we take out the Selby? Can we take out the Selby? Okay. But now I can click side. Well, it, this thing can click Recover, although would it want to here? It can also click Toxic. Three of his mods are immune to Toxic, though. Would he go into something else? But if he clicks Recover, then Toxic is 100% the play. Yeah, I think I want to... Yeah, I think he cl stays in to click Recover. I think he stays in to click Recover here. Because I think he... I think he... I mean, obviously he's smart enough to, to notice that uh, he's going to recover more than I am able to do to him with Hidden Power Bug. So I think he would want to get up healthier especially since i do have rocks up and if it does come back in on rocks yeah there we go there we go there we go okay 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 i'm trying to think uh what do you want to make us a play now would he have the sub? Would he have the... Well, no, he has Stealth Rocks this time, so... I, th I don't think he would have the sub. Right? Because... He would be... If he's... We've seen Energy Ball, Stealth Rock... Energy Ball, Stealth Rock... Energy Ball, Stealth Rock... Recover. So he, so he either has sub or... He either has sub or Earth Power. In which case, he can't handle the Nihilego well. I don't know. I don't know what to think in this situation. I'm going to click Seismic Toss. Does withdraw. Yeah. I think that, that this was worst case scenario. Honestly. This might just be worst case scenario, but he definitely expects me to want to click in Power Bug again, or Toxic. Um, so, I mean, this is best case scenario for what Registeel can do in this situation, but definitely not best case scenario for uh, the overall look of this match. And, I, and I'm just kind of forced to click Seismic Toss again. Uh, he would either have to recycle or try to curse up now. And if, but I mean, the more he tries to curse up, the more uh, potential I have to keep this thing low enough where again Raikou can come in and uh, finish this thing off. Um, and I don't know, man, we're 20 minutes in this. This could legitimately go to timer too. We're both playing this super duper carefully. Yeah, he's, re he's pretty aggressively. Oh, but if he does have curse, then all he has is poison jab and knockoff, which Registeel can take hits. I mean, not for days, but decently well. Uh, this is interesting. Yeah, it does go for the recycle. But now I think I'm in a position where I can... And I think I'm in, a, I'm in a position where I can Seismic Toss here, and then that would set me up okay for the next turn. I mean, he could PP stall me out of... Uh, well, I think he would run out of recycles before I run out... Well, no, he wouldn't. Because I have to Seismic Toss every turn, and he does not. But he would run really low on recycles, and he's not, and he's never cursed up yet. So, um, if he's just poison jab and knockoff, then that, then he has to work a lot. As long as I keep clicking seismic toss, and he's never able to curse up, and I have to assume that this thing is cursed. I have to assume that he's kind of trying to, you know, win with this thing. 
does go for the recycle, but I do leave him at 51%. Which is honestly probably best case scenario. Now he's probably assuming that I would want to... Um, that I would want to... Make a super aggressive switch here. He does have his berry back, which is unfortunate. Actually, I guess... Let me remind myself what item my Raikou is. Well, no, because I would have to... Mm, I need my... I need to let in my zoom roll here. I need to let in my zoom roll somehow. You know what? I'm gonna lose my best my best answer to Glade here, but I think I just have to go for it here. I think I just have to go for it here. He's probably gonna click knock off, maybe poison jab. Yeah, that's fine. But now I'm almost positive that I should be able to take a hit, and I can probably just click Will O Wisp here and. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Because if I keep this thing at 50 plus 1, then Azumarill can potentially clean this up a little bit later. But if he's but at this point, all he has to do is switch out, and then when he switches back in, he gets the figure beer for free. <sighs> this is tough. So we gotta click toxic? No, I don't think that's ever the play. I'm going to click Foul Play here. Withdrawing, yeah, withdrawing is absolutely his play here, which is why I struggled here. But he's going to bring this thing in. He's going to get the first KO almost half an hour into the match, but I think this was necessary. I think this was necessary. You know what? I can also just make a super aggressive play into... Reggie still here? That might honestly be worth it. That might honestly just be worth it here. Rest. Okay. That's unexpected. But we've seen Rest, Dragon Pulse, almost definitely a Sludge Wave. He brought Rest Pilot Swine last time, too. Could be Rest Sleep Talk Dual Stab. Could be Rest Dual Stab. Honestly, maybe maybe what I should have done was go into Serena and, and try to click Rapid Spin. Try to hope that he doesn't get uh, the proper Rest Roll on this one. But, yeah, I don't really have any wild setup on my team. Anything else would just be... Kind of just guessing as to what to do here. Honestly, maybe getting a getting a speed boost or a beast boost and he hit like a one out because then he always has a scissor to shut me down. So, um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Although, this just immediately makes it more difficult to win the match. Uh, he's just honestly just thinking about whether or not he wants to, uh, risk the the sleep turns. But no, does just get the free figgy berry. But I'll be able to keep him reasonably low with Seismic Toss. And I think... I think... Uh, this is slightly above worst case scenario. Only because I do get to keep him reasonably low. And force him to have to recycle. But we're honestly just back at square one. We're honestly just back at square one. I think I did kind of throw him off a little bit. By, go by aggressively going into the Registeel. Um... Honestly, he could have he could have uh, rest stalled me with uh, with the Dragology and kind of forced me in a position where I was forced to burn more seismic tosses and then PV solved my seismic tosses. But that's probably not the game he wants to play. It's probably um. But man, I, I think I just saw that this is the 29th turn of the game, and I think my seismic toss PP is like, oh, man, I want to burn this thing so badly, but he's not gonna he's never gonna let me burn this thing. 
it's gonna be too telegraphed if I go into the spirit tomb at any point and I try to uh and I try to get that burn off. So I'm never gonna find that opportunity here. I'm trying to think. Well, no, I mean, yeah, no. I was trying to think because, like, would it have helped if I had left the Raikou back for Necrozma this time? But no, 100% it wouldn't have. All right, so now he's pretty aggressively going for these recycles. Although, I'm very, very curious. I've not been counting his recycles even a little bit. But no, now I'm super, super curious as to whether or not uh, the, he's he's choosing this moment to try and uh, go aggressive with his curses. Because I think. I think we still have never seen a fourth move on this thing. I think we've still never seen a fourth move on this thing, but I don't think there's any reason to click anything but a uh, seismic toss in, the, in this situation. I don't think there's any reason to click anything else. Let's try another recycle. Let's try another recycle. Hmm. This would, if there's any moment to curse, it would be, like, right now. It would be right now, because this is the healthiest he's ever going to be off of my seismic tosses. I'm just still going for knockoffs. So this is going to be the end of this whole, uh, seismic toss saga here. I've used 16 seismic tosses, and it's, like, turn 30, so over half of the turns have been, have been me clicking seismic toss. So how do I, how do I do this? How do I do this? Goes for a cycle again. So not KOing my Registeel here. I think if my Registeel goes down, it just allows me to bring in the Azumarill. But then the Azumarill goes down. But then I attack in, do over half, I do over half with play rough, and then that allows my Raikou to do, yeah. So letting Registeel go down in exchange for this damage is probably the best thing that I can do in this situation. It's just not gonna look great on paper. It's gonna look pretty bad on paper, in fact. But, because I'm gonna lose two Mons, really close to each other, but uh, I think it's ultimately going to be the most worth it by playing it this way. And because he went into Celebi last time, it really just makes you want to click Liquidation this time. Although, you know, who knows what the heck he's going to want to do here. Play Rev still does more damage. I have to click Liquidation. I have to at least see what this does. But now the Muck doesn't have a berry, but it's at full HP. So I don't know how exactly to think about that. I guess what that does for me is it would allow my Raikou to Volt Switch out. Potentially sack off something like a Spirit Tomb or something that's low. And then from there, does withdraw. Do we see the Scizor? No. I don't think... Okay. Yeah, So he so he called that perfectly. He called that pretty perfectly. But if I had gone for the player off, man, if I had just gone for the player off. Oh. He could recover up to. He could recover up. But no, he, he almost has to click energy ball. Right, so that would almost ensure me Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I really don't particular. I'm not seeing a way that I can win this. I'm not really seeing a great way that I could win this. It's for a light screen. Okay. So, we haven't seen any item. This thing could be light clay. This thing could absolutely be light clay. But now I know that the, that the only attacking move that this thing has is uh, Energy Ball, so I can click Rapid Spin here. Right, Recover, Energy Ball. And that means that I can maneuver this... Uh, I can maneuver this... 
Did he? Okay, I was gonna say, did he really call that play? Uh, he could get rocks up, but he's he's honestly really. Man, what if I just click U-turn? I guess he was giving this thing up regardless, but uh, it's such an odd play to me. It's such an odd play to me. It's such an odd play. Okay, it's fine. I'll figure it out. But it does allow me to bring in this Raikou. Uh, for absolutely free. And I haven't been gauging damage like even a little bit. It does go for the South Arcat. Uh, I figured he wouldn't want to try to Energy Ball me, but uh, regardless, I think honestly my best play might just be to click Thunderbolt here. Because Signal Beam would be too obvious, I think. Signal Beam would be too obvious, I think. So what do you want to go into the muck? If he goes into the muck, then I potentially beat the muck and I put myself in a fantastic position to win. <sighs> He's weak enough where, where Signal Beam legitimately KOs. I'm, I'm extra belted too. I'm modest extra belt. So if this thing stays in... Oh, he's light. He's under light screen. He's under light screen, and it's probably like light too. So I have to click signal beam. Hmm. How many turns are left of light? Yeah. Okay. Does withdraw. Do we see the muck? Do you see the muck? Yeah. That's bad. That's just bad. I guess we have to test to see whether or not this thing is, in fact, um, light screen? Or not light, um, light clay? I could just volt switch out. He's gonna knock off here. For sure, for sure. He's gonna knock off for sure, for sure. That would allow me to go into... Hmm. What can I do here? What can I do here? I, I have to... I have to rapid spin in order to... He's, oh, he also has to recycle too. He has to recycle too. So maybe I'm fine getting knocked off. I might be fine getting it. Unless he starts aggressively cursing. But that would still put him in a position where he has to click recycle at some point. And giving him free turns would be the worst thing I could do right now. I'm going to click Thunderbolt. We just have to start doing some damage to this thing. That does very little damage. But does click recycle. Does click recycle. And uh, the light screen is still up. So that would theoretically give me... A volt switch turn and still keep him above 50 but it, it doesn't matter because my zoom rolls like would go down on on rocks it doesn't matter how could i possibly play this i would have to volt switch out i would have to wait out light screen while leaving him above 50% in order to uh, Thunderbolt him after Light Screen end. Well, no. It, it, it looks like he was super specially defensive by the looks of that, um... Of how much damage I did with, the, with that earlier Thunderbolt. Which makes sense if he's cursed. So maybe I can give up Serena in order to Rapid Spin? I might have to. I might just have to. So what I can do is I can Volt Switch into Serena, give up my scarf to the, give the scarf to the knockoff, and then Rapid Spin as he Poison Jabs me. Then I have to give up my, then I have to give up my Spear Tomb, which would leave this thing low enough where Azumarill can come in and, okay. But he's going to see where, where, where I'm coming from like a mile away. He's going to see what's coming a mile away. 
But I think it's regardless what I kind of have to do. I'm going to lose my Scarf here. Um, but Scarf Serena isn't really the most valuable here. If anything, Scarf Naked Lego is going to be a ton more valuable here. That is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. But I can Rapid Spin here. He might not even be in, in that great of a position to bring in the Celebi aggressively, because the Celebi might, def be, might be defensive enough where, um, even without the Scarf, I can handle it. But um, getting rid of the rocks would allow... Yeah, it's 100% it's necessary because of the Azum roll. It's 1,000% necessary. And then the name of the game is just trying to ensure that Nihilego is can potentially win from there. And if this thing does go to timer, then uh, I would pretty aggressively lose, but uh, there's not really much that I can do about that. Um, realistically, I would probably lose this even if we did have an extra like 20 or so minutes. Um, it's just going to be... Yeah, so he's, he's maneuvering himself, so he does have the... I'm super curious as to whether or not he's trying to set himself up for a Swords Dance here. Although, I just have to click Power Whip. This is an adamant near max attack um, Power Whip, and I have to prevent a really aggressive... I have to prevent a really aggressive Swords Dance here. But he could just straight up be Swords Dancing for game, and if that's the case, then... Uh, I don't know. But, yeah, no, I think he has a Swords Dance because you would want a Swords Dance Shadow Sneak the Nihi Lego here. Goes for the Drain Punch. Okay. Okay, I think that's fine. It does allow on my Nihi Lego. I'd be very curious. Well, no, I think I have to weaken this thing before my Nihi Lego can really do what I think it needs it, what I need it to do. My Nihi Lego against a Glade. Um, yeah, no, Dazzling Gleam is doing nowhere near enough. But... If anything, I can threaten him out with Gala with um, Raikou. He's not going to know that I don't outspeed him with a Raikou, even though I don't outspeed him with a Raikou, like, even a little bit. So, I mean, if anything, he would have to fear some kind of a Volt Switch. I can... Yeah. He has to keep this thing healthy, because any type of any type of chip damage would leave this thing weak to my Nihilego. And uh, he definitely cannot let that happen. He definitely cannot let that happen. So, if he does want to switch out, then that would be uh, pretty wild, but at that point, I would just have to hope that I can take a hit from something at some point, somewhere. Um, and who knows, this thing could could aggressively know that it takes uh, some hits here and go for a Swords Dance here to try to go for a game a little bit, but no, I, I guess that would never be the play because my Raikou can come in uh, when it comes back in on the Bolt Switch, but uh, if it does, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, there's, there's a lot to think about here, but I don't have a very fast Raikou at all, it's a... It's a Decently bulky Raikou. I mean, you can tell from the HP stat on the screen, but um, I, did, I do not have a very fast Raikou at all. And he has to assume that I do have a fast Raikou and um, kind of play accordingly. But uh, from here on out, from here on out, this damage should allow me to. This damage should allow me to go into my Zoom roll and start to do something with a zoom roll and i kind of just think that's how i have to play it here i need to i also need him to continue to think that my raikou is faster so i can't i really can't give him any opportunities to find out that my raikou is not faster but uh, i don't think that's going to be too big of an issue um let's see here it's gonna it's the same dang situation. I want a liquidation so bad, but I think I have to just click play rough here. Does withdraw. Goes out into the Selby. But the Selby's going to allow me to The Selby? He's gonna click rocks. He's gonna click rocks. But it doesn't matter because I can't remove the rocks anyway, and this thing is gonna be threatened out by something. It, it, if anything, it gets threatened out by the Scizor. So, yeah. No, this is where he wins. This is, this is where Muck beats me. 
Although, although, wait, wait, wait. I think I can maneuver it such that Raikou can still click Thunderbolt. Raikou can still click Thunderbolt and potentially beat the Muck because the Muck doesn't have its berry anymore, and the Muck is going to be above half anyway uh, when it comes back in on Rock. So the Raikou has to be my pocket answer to the to the yeah. He's gonna click rocks. He clicks light screen. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is this is interesting because it allows my Azumarill to stay up for a little bit longer. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna have to. I don't even know if I have eight turns, but I'm gonna have to wait eight turns for anything to be able to win in this matchup. Yeah, because now, yeah, no, now this thing is gonna be with a Sword Dance for free because I can't do enough damage to this thing. But again, here's the thing: I think he has to want a Sword Dance here. Well, no, now, now, now he knows that this thing is too important, and he wouldn't want. I, I, I think, he, I think that alone would, would prevent him from wanting to Sword Dance here. But everything left is a, everything left that can beat this thing is a special attacker, and and, and not gonna be able to win under Light Screen. I'm not going to be able to win under the light screen. So what can I do here? What can I do here? Anything he clicks is going to be able to beat me. Anything he clicks is going to be able to beat me. I can't aggressively switch on the Raikou because that would mean... I can Aqua Jet get some chip damage. Aqua Jet would get some damage, which would allow my Raikou to come in, take a hit, Vol Switch out, go into. Go into. Spiritomb. <sighs> Maybe I just give a Spiritomb now. But no, it, it, it gives me nothing to Vol Switch into later on in the match. I might. I don't know, man. This is going down a timer. I'm gonna click Aqua Jet. I have to get some type. I have to get some type of chip damage. I think. I think we can get there with a few different things happening. Drain punch. Okay. Okay. Honestly, I I I came very close to switching into uh to switching into the spirit tomb. I have to try to threaten this thing with, with the Raikou. Actually, okay, so if this thing does stay in, it would, it would want to click Drain Punch here, right? So can I... Huh. Maybe I do j Maybe. 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 I'm gonna... I'm gonna go f Let's go for it, man. Let's go for it, man. I just have to prevent him from getting HP back through... Okay, so I have to pre I have to A, prevent him from getting HP back through Drain Punch, and I have to pre prevent him from... And I have to try to burn off some uh, turns of... Of... Uh, I have to burn off some turns of Light Screen. Even though I don't think I have enough... I think he has too many turns of Light Screen to, for me to ever win. But I think this is, the, this is the only way that I can try. He does have to respect Shadow Sneak a little bit. He does have to respect Shadow Sneak a little bit. Although he does have to respect, he does also have to respect. He can't drain punch, he can't kind of health back. He does also have to respect me going for like Shadow Sneak. He has to potentially respect foul play, so he can't really. Um. He can't really sword dance here. Maybe. Maybe that would be enough of a turn to sword dance. He has to also respect Will O Wisp, too. So he can't really just give me turns here. So he didn't want to click knockoff here. And and Yeah, okay. I think I'll talk myself into it. Because X Propel on Raikou, right? X Propel on Raikou is useless in this matchup, right? I don't think there's anything that X Propel would help me with. Yeah. So X Propel on Raikou is useless. And 
It would give me another turn to burn by switching back into my spirit tomb. I do, I do just want to check. There's two turns, right? So I take I, I, I burn one turn by going into Raikou. I burn another turn by going into by going back into spirit tomb. That gives him three turns left. Uh, yeah, I don't think I ever get there, man. I don't think I ever get there. I mean, I can try, and I think I have to try, but uh, I don't see any way that I get there in the end. I really just don't see any way that I get there in the end. But I think he has to click knock off here. I don't think he can really afford to do anything else. Yeah, okay. 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 That is a lot of damage. Does does take off my extra belt, but... I guess the only thing that could bail me out is like a... A Dazzling Gleam crit? But then I have to do it over again because I have to deal with the uh, with the scissor. Yeah. And I never beat the scissor. Yeah, that's true. Now that I let this thing get weakened, I never beat the scissor either. So that, okay. Hmm. This is going to be the last turn of regular... Of regular light screen. But he's gonna have the, the three turns of likely light screen. So what does that mean for me? But yeah. I wanted to try something here, but um if anything, he could expect me to do this and click sword dance and then Shadow Sneak would win him the game potentially, but uh I don't really know what else to do here. Does click Drain Punch, okay. So. But see, he also doesn't he doesn't have any real reason to want to um have a lot of attack investment, so he could just be like close to max HP and uh not even really have to worry about not even really have to worry about uh about um this dazzling link help I think this is it I, I have to crit here if I don't crit then I just lose but uh that's kind of just what I was forced into there wasn't really any other other like counterplay that I had this is gonna be the end of the game I'm gonna tell him GG. But... Okay, so we somehow took that. I don't know, man. So I guess we have another chance to crit. I guess we have a, another chance to crit, but uh, it is remarkably unlikely. I didn't think we would take a single drain punch, but I don't know. I guess it, I guess I might check out. Uh, actually, no. I I mean I don't I don't even think like a crit would do it here. I don't even think a crit would do it here, but uh, that's gonna end the game. I I thought, yeah, no, I thought I could get there, but it was going to be a tough one no matter what happened. Uh, it, it does also just stink because it, cause it is going to be a 5-0 on paper, even though uh, I feel like I played decently well. Uh, I, I didn't have the tools for the Alolan Muck, but did I ever have the tools? Did I ever really have the tools? I guess not. Alolan Muck just had a fantastic matchup against my team, and I couldn't really manage it the best. Um, maybe if I had kept banned on my zoom roll for longer, then maybe that could have been what got me there in the end. But, uh, yeah, no, that light screen was really just game winning for him. That light screen was absolutely just game winning for him. Um, I think if it was anything, man, if he was sub again, then, uh, I could have caught him off guard with a lot of different things, but, uh, it just wasn't the way things happened. Uh, but either way, that's gonna be a thing. That's gonna be for me. Uh, this, match, this match has been far, far too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with uh, more weeks of the ICBA, more weeks of the uh, the last few weeks of the PGP and playoffs potentially. Uh, but this is gonna end the UBL run. Uh, it was an experience, but um. I had to play as well as I could. I think I did play as well as I could. Uh, I just never really had the best tools. It, it just it, it, it just was never great when my best ground type was a camera up and 
not only was it my best ground type, but it was my best fire type. So uh, I really had nothing really for that scissor or that muck. So I guess I should have brought it anyway, just to, I don't know. It was a tough decision, but uh, I did what I, I did the best that I could this entire season with kind of a huge handicap on my fire type and my ground type, uh, especially just because obviously those are two very, very important typings for any draft league team. But uh, I kind of wanted to do something interesting with this team and it just uh, didn't end up working for me as well as I could. And I found out really early on that like certain mods could just tech on HP water and it's too slow to really do much of anything. Maybe I could have been more aggressive with Trick Room, uh, but that's never really been something that I was terribly interested in. Regardless, uh, that's going to be the end of the UBL Season 3 run. Uh, like I said, I, I did what I could with what I had. Um, my team did get significantly better once I did acquire that Azumarill. And... I really enjoyed being able to play with it. Uh, Necrozma was my KO leader for the season, but again, I think it really, really just came down to not having the best fire type. And who knows? He might not even had, he might not have even had an HP water on his team. He, maybe the Greninja, he just brought in for the camera up and just to chill in the background. Because I don't even think the Greninja had to hit the field, but um, maybe, maybe it was just like his security blanket against the camera up coming. But uh. I would not have done well at all if I just kind of allowed my camera up to be uh, a free invite for his Greninja to come in and kind of just do all this damage to me. But regardless, that's going to be this, the run. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. going to be once again. Yeah.